Hello, welcome to our presentation. Today we are going to make an analysis about the film Mulan, uh, produced by Walt Disney Pictures in 2020. And our title is The Chinese Culture in Mulan, a Perspective from Orientalism. This is our table of content and a division of work. First of all, I would like to introduce the basic plots of the film Mulan, explain the reasons that we choose this film for analysis, and also the concept we used, which is Orientalism. Like the animation version, the film Mulan in 2020 is also a story based on the Chinese folklore called the Ballad of Mulan. The story took place in ancient China, when the emperor of China asked each family to send a man to perform military service to resist the northern invaders. Our protagonist, Mulan, uh, stood up and enlisted for her sick father. Although she pretended to be a man, she still used her inner strength to accept her true potential as a woman. The film presents not only a challenge to fight the invaders, but also the journey of transforming herself into a respected warrior and self-accepting woman. We have three reasons for selecting this film for analysis. Firstly, it is, uh, it is 2020 American action drama film produced by Walt Disney Pictures, which means it is a whole new version of the classic story in current times. Secondly, it is a live action adaption of Disney's 1998 animated film of the same name, based on the Chinese folklore, The Ballad of Mulan. So it, it, it tells us a Chinese story from a Western perspective. It's a typical example of Orientalism. Certainly, the Chinese elements in the film have caused a lot of controversy in China, which aroused our interest to research about the essence of the controversy. Basically, we will use the concept Orientalism in our analysis. We have learned from the lectures and the required readings that the Orientalism is how the West recognized the East. According to Edward Said, Orientalism has three meanings. It is a discipline of academic research in the West. It is a style of thought based on the distinction between the East and the West. And it is also a cooperate institution for dealing with the Orient. Okay, next part is the analysis. First of all, we are going to uh, discuss, uh, discuss the architecture and the qi. Next, please. Uh, by, replace, by replacing the Appalachian Mountains in the 1998 with Fujian Tulu in the 2020s live action version of Mulan, Disney seems to be a little closer to ancient China. However, Tulu is an architectural structure in the southern China, but Mulan is a girl grown up in the north. So, to a certain extent, it may give a wrong impression to those who are not familiar with Chinese culture. Uh, next, please. Next part is Qi. Unlike, unlike the animated version, the live action version of Mulan has a superpower called Qi. This is a very important setting for the film, which directly reflects the director's intention and the level of expression. And this setting is quite marvel that Mulan has had more qi than anyone else since childhood. Some people can practice and improve their qi so that they can get various skills buffs such as uh, strengthening, leaping, and healing. In other words, qi is an art of building up one's strength uh, through breathing and other exercise of internal organs. Uh, in Chinese, we call it Nei Gong. Uh, next, please. In the film, those with Qi who are not yet practiced uh, have super 
uh, physical skills and uh, quick reactions, uh, like Hua Mulan. Those who are highly practiced can move without shadows and have ever-changing forms, like the witch. Disney uses the concept of qi. Uh, however, this concept is um, a mysterious concept that uh, no one in China can clearly understand uh, to create an Im image of superhero who finally finds herself and uh, grows up in to be a legend. And next part will introduced by Zhang Xinyu. And then let's see how exactly Chinese people and its culture are being represented in the movie from a perspective of Orientalism. First of all, let's see these four Chinese characters. Loyalty, bravery, authenticity, and devoted family. These four keywords appear repetitively in the movie and emphasizing their importance to the Chinese people. The previous three virtues are the virtues possessed by great soldiers and they are engraved on Mulan father's road and later taken into battle by Mulan as well. And except for the loyalty, bravery, and authenticity, the devoted family means that be good to and to take a parents, even bring a good name to them. So in this movie, this Chinese character is also engraved on a pendant. Uh, next slide, please. Um, at the end of the movie, Mulan was invited by the emperor to be an officer in the emperor's guide, but she refused it because she wants to be with her family. And the emperor did not get angry, even praised her saying that dev devoted family is an essential virtue and gave her a sword marked with this Chinese character as a present. Uh, next slide, please. Um, so... This movie can also be linked to an idea called collectivism. Uh, during a conversation between Mulan and the witch, Mulan showed her determination to fight for the kingdom and protect the emperor. But for the witch, she doesn't belong to anywhere. No country, no village and family. But through her words, we can imply that the witch is actually really hoped to be accepted by the group. It could be either her family, their village and the bigger country to accept her uniqueness. Next slide, please. What's more, collectivism supports the idea that what you did, whether it's good or not, it largely affects you belong to your belong to group. When you fail, you shame the group you belong to. Like uh, when Mulan is grouped up an ethical learning session, the teacher said she was dishonored to the family. And when a new soldier cheated in the training, and later he was expelled. The laws emphasized that he was a disgrace to the country. Um, furthermore, when Mulan exposed her true identity, the witch told her that shame is even worse than death for a Chinese person. So this plot can very clearly show how important collectivism is to the Chinese and how individual values are ignored in this movie. However, in original Chinese story, Mulan not only fight for her country and family, but also for the realization of her personal values. But in this movie, uh, in this Disney movie, uh, Disney has imagined and reconstructed traditional Chinese culture in an Orientalist way. So this movie, um, only the value of collectivism is being ref uh, represented and emphasized. Next slide, please. And I will I'll talk about the conclusion. So please go to next slide. So our conclusion is Mulan as a new, new work of the traditional Chinese story, typical but controversial. And it produced by a USA producer also make it as a typical case for Orientalism. And in this movie, the Chinese feature in uh, various such as architecture, kung fu, and Chinese people themselves even emphasize in these movies too, um, which as a uh, opposite side of Mula make the character more lively. And the using of collectivism emphasizing the devotion of the family and country. But original story, Mula also fight for herself too, so this part also consists of parts of the Orientalism. So please go to next slide. 
So our opinion towards to this movie is this new USA version of the Chinese traditional story. Even if it involved with lots of features, looks like very close to the so-called China in Western culture, but it still could not escape from the orientalism. So please go to next slide. Uh, so that's all. So thanks for listening to our presentation.